Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? It's your homeboy 7 dog 4 uh, I've just been kind of sitting around playing the number one, number one Dragon Ball Z game, uh, Xbox One, um, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2. I played the first one. I played the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game. Uh, Kakarot game was kind of more of like a child, childish game when it comes to playing it. I didn't really care too much, care too much for it. Um, but they stayed with the same storyline through the DVDs and everything. All the all the shows of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, my number one character that I do like is Goku, and I, I also like Vegeta. But when you know, I've had several people say I train like the cheetah more than I do Goku. Um, because I have, I have the attitude of a cheetah, but I have the niceness of Goku. So it's like a mixture of the two characters of the main, of the main characters of the show. Um, but when it comes to, like, kind of resting around the day, you know, kind of not really doing much. Um, that's usually what I do. I play Xbox for a while. Um, I get some things done around the house that needs to be done, like some of my chores. Um, or I might read a book, you know, just pass up the time. Um, you know, just kind of take my mind off things instead of just sitting around, you know, thinking about work or what, you know, what's work going to be like the next day. Um, even though tomorrow is Monday and I do have to work on Martha Luther King. And that's another thing I want to talk to you about um, is Martha Luther King was one of the greatest legends, I think, of all history. Because um, um, he made it where blacks, whites, they got along. He made it where everybody was treated equal. You know, back then they had a lot of slavery back then due to toward blacks. Which Arthur Luther King was like, hey, I'm gonna get I'm gonna give a speech out, said I have a dream. Every man and every woman come together as one not as separate because of skin color we are going to be one and we're going to be working together as one that might not be his whole speech but that's how I gathered it when I first heard his speech and that's the reason why I try to get along with different colors of skin, you know, different races and everything else. And, you know, I'm not racist at all. But when my grandpa was alive, I mean, he was very racist. I mean, he didn't like Mexicans. He didn't like blacks. He didn't, you know. It was just because on how he was brought up in that time of era where he was raised at. And me... You know, he always got so mad at me because I'll be friends with, with black people at work. And and I'm like, they're just people like us. It's because they have a skin different skin color. Um, it's not because, you know, they're different. I, I said, that doesn't mean we should treat them different. I said, you can't just judge a book by its color. And... I said, look at Martha Luther King, you know, and I told him that, I said, he made it possible where we all work together as one, and, but his assassination is what got him to where he was at as a legend in history, but it is, uh, it is a sad day for that man because of tomorrow, it will be a sad day for that man. You know, but David is, is what I hate 
is, you know, of today's society, they're taking out history. They're taking out history. Like, the rebel, the rebel statues, they're taking out that. Um, they're taking out, um, they're trying to take out the Confederate flag. You know, they're trying to take out the history of the slavery because they don't want children to know back then there were slaves. Well, to me, you can't erase history. It's not like a computer. You cannot erase, erase history. History is already gone and past. Unless if you have a time machine, you can go to a certain time of the event, go to a certain time of when the event happened, if you did some time travel, like they do in the animations, or like, in the movies and stuff, you know, like off the movie, the one where they went to different multiverses and stuff like that, you know, yeah, you could probably change events, but will it change our time? No, it won't, because that our time will stay the same. It might change directions in another time zone, but we can't go back in time anyway because we don't have the technology. I mean, it'd be too too advanced technology. I said we probably could build a time machine, you know, to try to go back in time. Um, I think at one point I heard on the internet, uh, I, I read an article, um, NASA was trying to build a time machine or something like that, and uh, some of their scientists or whatever is trying to build, build one, but, you know, it... You know, people are wanting to go back in the time and, you know, and live in that time. You know, they got to pay out a lot of money to time travel. And, and which, you know, that would be kind of interesting, you know, go back into that day of era where there was no internet, where there was no, no uh, drama, where there was no cell phones or anything, you know. Back then, they didn't have a lot of technology. And so, what they did for knowledge, what they did for knowledge, they read out of books, these hardback copies, or softback copies, back then. And, and I don't like to rely on the internet. I don't really like to rely on the internet for a lot of things. You know, unless if I'm, you know, wanting to learn a technique. A new technique, you know, for my martial arts, then I'll try learning it. If I can't understand it out of a book on what it's talking about. Um, but if I can't understand it out of a book on what it's talking about, then I try to research my stuff on it on YouTube and stuff like that. But the thing of it is, is that what I'm trying to say is tomorrow is a great deal of a great man. One of the great legends that I've always looked up to in history was that he was the one reason why blacks, Latinos, Mexicans, um, Filipinos, um, Russians, you know, all different skin colors come together. You know, he's the reason why he became one. And, you know, he made it happen, you know, and, that, and that's the thing. And but nothing can change time that you know he's gone. You know if that man would have still been alive today, he would be still trying to make some changes in this world because the way I see it, the world is changing now. You know, it's changing way too fast. Now we have. Transgenders. Now we have gays. Um, now we have Black Lives Matter. Um, which I have nothing against that. 
but I look at the other three, like the transgenders, gays, and the other two, like the transgenders and gays. You know, I look at it this way. I don't care what they are and everything, but it's like, don't, I mean, I'll be your best friend, but don't push it off on me. And that's just how I see it. Um, now, the Black Lives Matter, you know, you know, who cares about Black Lives Matter? You know, yeah, Black Lives do matter, but on that Black Lives Matter thing, it was all because one person got shot by another white dude. So it became a racist thing. And so that's how come the Black Lives Matter came to occur. And the store owner that witnessed it all, he said the dude looked like he was on drugs the whole entire time. That's the reason how the black dude got shot by one of the white uh, white police officers. So they're saying Black Lives Matter due to that situation. And so... You know, to me, when it comes to Black Lives Matter, well, and I'm going to say this, do white lives matter? Because if, if a guy, if, if there's a white guy that gets shot, if a white guy got, got shot or something like that, would, would white lives matter too? No. They just wouldn't care about the white person. They just wouldn't. That's what Norman Morgan Freeman said in an interview to another person. He said, you know, if a white person would have got shot today, white lives would not matter. And the other guy was like, well, um, well then how come they have a Black Lives Matter or a Black History Month? And... And he's like, I don't want none of that, Morgan Freeman said. He's like, I don't care about none of that one bit. And he says, you know, if you treat me like I'm one of you, I said, that's what matters. It's about respect for one another, not because of Black Lives Matters or Black History Month. And to me, you know, I'm not trying to be racist in this video or not. You know, you can take it however you want to take it. Um, but it's just a lot of stuff that I think that goes on on the news. Um, that's the reason why I don't watch the news. Because I get, I get tired of hearing about the same thing over and over and over. They might have like three different stories, three different stories or whatever, and then then they'll just uh change the subject in a once in a while, but then they'll start talking about that one thing we cannot talk about that starts with a C on here. I'm not gonna mention the name of it because I don't want to get my channel taken down or my video taken down. Um, but. You know, it's just like a lot of stuff that I see on the news. You know, I think a lot of times, I think the news lies to us on certain things. And, and it was like a while back, you know, like with the vaccines, the vaccine shots. You know, I'm not saying they don't help. I got two of them. And, but my, like I said, it didn't help my grandpa out. You know, they said, oh, it, it would help help him out because he's older and it will help older people out. No, it, you know, if it's too far gone on your system, you know, if it's too far gone on your body, the C word, it, it won't help you out. And his was just too far gone. His had, he had asthma, uh, os. PC, uh, uh, however you want to say it, from smoking in the past. Um, he he didn't he quit smoking, but he had it in in his lungs still and everything, and it wasn't just cleared up out all the way. He had asthma, 
bleeding really bad, and he had his shoulder operation that threw him out for a little bit, and he had his knee operated on and everything. And uh, but when he had that COVID, you know, that's what you know made him pass on, and and he had the shots, and they say oh the shots work. Well, technically, the shots don't work. I mean, I, I don't care what the government says about it. The shots don't work. I mean, I got proof. So, and I said, the nurse people at where I work at, they they got the shot, and they say, oh, they get sick and everything else and or they had the covid and stuff like that and which i said the word you know hey oh well i'm gonna go ahead and say it and um uh, they had a shot and they still got it and it, but did it help them no it didn't i'm gonna keep them from getting it so the news is saying well get the shot it'll keep you from getting it well no, not really. It does not. And just like I said, when they come out with that booster shot for it, they're trying to say, oh, get the booster shot now. And for it. And I said, I'm not doing the booster shot. I already got the two shots, and that's all I'm doing. And unless my job says, hey, you got to have all three shots. And I said, then I'll take it. I said, but I am not going to do the booster shot. Um... The last time they did me, gave me the shot, uh, it made my arm sore, so sore for like a week almost, couldn't hardly move it, and uh, and that's another reason why I'm not going to go through that stuff again. It's like it's like, how do you know if there's a chemical in there that could tear up your body that they're injecting you in with? You know, you don't know what's in that shot, so. Uh, and it was like, like this year, I took the flu shot, and the flu shot vaccine did not help me from getting sick. It, um, I mean, I got sick and everything with the flu, and I was sick for about three, like three days straight with the flu, and, um, and it sucked. And so the vaccine for the flu don't even help. And everybody, says, all the older people says, oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Well, no, it don't. I mean, I don't care what it is, what you guys say. Um, next year, I won't take the flu shot because, like, because it seems like every time I get the flu shot, I get sick. So I'm just going to quit taking it. And at the at the end of every year, and but like I said, you know, I'm just talking about the man, you know, the legend in this video. I said a little too much that I probably shouldn't have um, about other things, but it's just you know, over the years of growing up, and you know trying to be a man, trying to be on my own and learn from others, learn things on my own as well. And, you know, I learned a lot over the years, you know, just being around my grandpa when he was alive. And, you know, one is to always try to be kind to others. Two, always try to show respect toward others. Three, um, always try to help people out when in need, if you can help them out. Um, those were the three aspects and always have a good heart and so those were the four aspects of a life that he taught me about and I would always cherish his memories on that and but the number one rule he said always be honest and he says honesty comes a long way and so I'm being honest and on things that I have to say to get off my chest, get off my mind, to have my own opinion. And plus, you know, it's a freedom of speech. And if most people don't like freedom of speech, 
Um, they're trying to take freedom of speech out. And, you know, you can't really say freedom of speech anymore. Because um, they're trying to take what I've heard somewhere else, too. Someone else told me, I don't know if it's true or not, but they said they're trying to take out freedom of speech and, and the Bill of Rights. And uh, to me, that's our number one freedom there. You know, if we can't say on what we got to say, how are we going to express ourselves in any other way that we can express? So, um, I'm not mad. I'm not, you know, upset with anything. I'm just expressing myself on what I have to say about how our world is changing from to the man I had the dream to the world today. If he would have still been today, he probably would not approve of a lot of things. That's what I'm trying to get at. So... There you have it, my little intake on Martin Luther King, um, on what, how he would think of today's world, and uh, stuff that's been going on in my life right now. Um, so like I said, if you don't have an Xbox system, you can get this game on, P on PlayStation. Um, I don't know how much it is on PlayStation, but you can get it on PlayStation 4 and 5. Later on and down the road, I might give me a PlayStation Five or a PlayStation Four. Um, I might start putting my putting some. I might go to Radio Shack, put it on Wayway, pay interest or something like that. Just tell them, hey, you know, I want this system. I want to put money on it, and I'm gonna say how how long will I have to have the money for it, and go from there. Um, but. Um, I've been watching a lot of movies too, sitting around watching a lot of movies. I watched another movie last night. Um, one of my best movies called called uh, Arena with Samuel L. Jackson and what's the other guy's name? I can't remember. Um, I like Samuel L. Jackson. He's a good actor, good black actor. Uh, plays in a lot of good action movies. But out uh, of... Pulp Fiction with Bruce Willis and um, in the arena with them two in it with him in those two movies he did really 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 good in both of those movies and um, the arena is about an underground fight league going on and it's like action non-stop. I said, if you like blood and guts, glory, fist fighting, old time, bare knuckle fighting style, mix in with like weaponry fighting and from old tradition ways um, in the movie, look that movie up, let me know what you think of it. And, you know, very interesting stuff. Um, it's kind of like the movie... Uh, Oh, I'm trying to think. Was Steve Coe? No. Um, just one wrestler. I'm trying to think of his name. Not Steve Coe. Um, the Condemned movie is kind of like that in a way. Where he goes to a remote island. But. And he's fighting for his life and everything. Through a game to make money. And. That's how the arena is. And, um, but, you know, they are just movies. They have good storylines. Um, but like I said, um, just be yourself. Be who you are. Be who you want to be in life. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. Um, don't let people walk over on you. Um, that's what I'm starting to do at my job right now. It's not to let them walk over me because that's what they're trying to do right now and I'm not letting them do it. And another thing is, is to always be yourself and always be honest at a workplace. Even though honesty doesn't really get you far, but in a workplace, but sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. You know, 
But it is what it is. You know, 7.4 signing off. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.